Hey guys, welcome to my video and today we're going to review some body con. Alright guys, before this video starts, I want to warn you that I am pronouncing body con wrong. I know that's going to trigger a lot of people. I'm aware of it. It's just because it's a full on habit that I just like to call it body con just for it to rhyme with body chan. I don't know, I apologize in advance to anybody, but I hope you still join the video. Specifically, a $100 body con versus a $10 body con. There's also a bonus body chan right here. She's still in her package. We'll review her later so I can show you what it's like to unbox these little guys. Sadly, I do not have the $100 body cons box because it was specifically a Christmas gift from last year. And also I kind of threw it out a few weeks ago. Yeah, bad timing on my end. But all right, let's get right into it. Let's start off with the $100 body con. Let's show off this pricey little boy right here, or man or teenager, whichever you prefer. This body con is 145 millimeters, or if you guys prefer in inches, roughly about, let's say five and a half. Yeah, roughly around five and a half inches. This body con comes with nine left and 11 right optional hands, three types of hands together, optional arm parts, optional feet for sitting on knees, a sword, a shield, a teacup and saucer, a mug, a Japanese teacup, an ice cream bar, four long poles and four short poles, a posable support, a storage box, two types of wrist holders, and a booklet. So yeah, this guy comes with a decent amount of stuff. If I had the original box, I believe I still have the booklet, but I have no idea where I put it. I did some of the poses as you probably saw in a few seconds ago that I remember from the booklet because in the booklet they give you um, directions on how to do certain poses and give you some inspirations for poses. All right, let's get into the pros and cons of the body con. The first thing I have to mention is I'm sort of going to start off with the cons is that my body con came with kind of a messed up arm as you can see if I move it the arm will just pop off real easily no matter how much pressure I put into it it will not stay at all as you see I'm gonna try to bend it see it comes right off yeah it's it's kind of annoying at first but then I figured I put hot glue hot glue usually works for me because hot glue is not really permanent for me at least and another con I could say is that the price yes when I got this and I was told this was over a hundred dollars I was not lying but when I recently looked up the body con again it seemed like it raised up in price because now it's like two hundred dollars <laughs> so yeah if you're planning to get this this is not something that you could just get on a budget it's something you have to invest into and so this is why I'm gonna tell you some pros about the body con the body con is great quality let me just put that arm to the side because you know he's not gonna be using it for right now don't worry joe <laughs> yes i named my body con joe say hello to joe the first pro i could say about the body con is its quality it's really great quality it's great for posing it's very easy to pose him and it looks really cool and also natural <laughs> this is his one arm pose he's fabulous for being one arm <laughs> And then this leads into another pro about this body con. It has a good range of motion. Arms up all the way over here. You can put it behind his head like classic animes. He's laying down. As everyone has found out when they first saw me with this body con, the first thing I found that he can do is <laughs> He got good range of motion. So yeah, if you want him in a sexy pose, then feel free to do so. I don't know, I'm not going to judge you. And his back doesn't bend that far. Oh god, no. <laughs> this arm's not broken. Don't worry, guys. I just popped that off by mistake. That one wasn't like that. Don't worry, hot glue will solve everything. Now remind you guys, this is a year old, so don't blame it. It's been, it's been used and abused, so another pro is that he has more hands and items than the $10 body con. Because that body con, the $10 one, comes with six left hands and 11 right hands which is weird and this one comes with nine left hands and 11 right hands and also an additional limbs like extra arms like these 
and extra legs. Oh, and also another pro is that he has more detail than the other bodycon does. As you can see, they put a lot more detail into the face and into the body. Like he's very slim, but very detailed. He's very defined. So it's great for those when you're drawing, you wanna draw where the muscles are, that he has the muscles that you can see. He even has the booty if you need it. And the best part is, I don't know why I'm just so obsessed with this, is that he has toes. <laughs> Cause you know, toes are really hard to draw and so are hands. You know the artist's worst enemies are hands and a sidekick to them is feet. This is a personal preference. It's not really a pro or con. It just depends on the person if you like it or not. It's the body type. This body type is inspired from an artist. I'll probably leave his name somewhere on the screen. But it was inspired by artists. So this is his style, which I actually do like. I like this body type. I don't know if you do. Maybe you like bigger. Maybe you like them thicker. Depends on you. This is also another personal preference is types of items because this bodycon he comes with swords He comes with a sword and a shield legs to make a table and cups The $10 bodycon comes with a sword as well, but he also has a laptop and phones so Which that could be dependent because I do like the phone as well, but now I have both <laughs> So it depends on you you let me know which one you think but we'll get to the $10 bodycon and We'll go into his pros and cons. All right, Joe. I'll hot glue you back together soon. <laughs> but for now, let's head on to the $10 body con. All right, here's the $10 body con right here. As you can see, you probably noticed the difference. Yeah, but I don't want to spoil it yet. And this is the box that the figure came in. Let me put you over there. And I still have some plastic in here. You get out of here. Let me make it look pretty for you. Right, this is the original box that the Bodycon came in. As you can see, the name, the SH Figure Arts Bodycon DX Set Gray Color by Bendai. Apparently, I didn't know that it was by Bendai. Oh, snap. You see, the box is kind of a bit fancy. The box was very similar to the $100 one. The $100 one looked much fancier. It was much larger than this one. Everything's in Japanese, so... I need to get a translator, but as you can see, they give some tips on how to draw your figure, take a picture, put it on digital. They assume you do digital, but it's okay. <laughs> and here's the figure with all its items, and here's some poses that they give you. And it came with all, all its items, and also this booklet, as you can see, gives more examples, which is kind of cool. Everything's in Japanese though, that's the only suckish part for me. Well, I better get starting on my Japanese lessons now. <laughs> and here's a really cool artwork by, I don't know who it is, but it looks amazing. And there's the finished piece. Ooh. And there's the back. Let's go to his description. The only thing is that I realized when looking for his description is that the product did not have a description. So I don't know why I bought this item, even though it didn't have a description. It just told us <laughs> that it was an anime figure. That's it. So I'm going to give you what I, uh, mine came with. So this bodycon came with six left hands and 11 right hands, one laptop, one tablet, one touchscreen phone, one flip phone, one handgun, one sword, one support stand and one storage case which sounds kind of similar to the hundred dollar body con just they have a cool gun <laughs> and he's roughly about five and a half inches as well as you can see so they're similar height the only thing is that their body tops look a bit different so let's go to the pros and cons about this body con all right i'm gonna start off with the cons since we start off with the cons another one so the con about this body con, that sounds the same, <laughs> is the quality. The quality is, it feels cheaper. It feels like that toy you buy in a 99 cent store type of cheap. 
that's what it feel like and you probably could tell you can see all these weird joints and probably how the material looks and then also the another con i had with him was that his hands were falling off like crazy you i'll probably show you some clips on yeah as you can see i'll probably show you some clips on his hands falling off real easily so I, as you can see i put some hot glue my hot glue solution a bit sturdier because it seemed like it was bending too easy oh great now i'm gonna have a hard time putting his hand back off yeah his hands kind of suck all right another con is that he has limited range of motion unlike the body con the hundred dollar body con his range of motion was pretty good for this one it's okay he can still put his hands behind his back but like his leg motion is not the same he can't do them splits like the other one can see yeah his range is not as good as the body cons the hundred dollar one but it's not too horrible it's just he can't do splits <laughs> Another con that I mentioned is that he has less detail. As you can see, he's less defined than the other body con. Closer. See, he has less definition in his muscles like the other body con, but my most pet peeve, he doesn't have toes. <laughs> no, I need toes. That's your personal preference. And his head is a little more different than the other body con. Let me bring the other one in to show you. As you can see, the $10 body cons head seems to be a little more bigger in width. As you can see, and the nose seems to be more pointier and up. Which is kind of weird. Let's talk about the other con, which is that he has less hands and items. As I explained, he has six and he has six left hands and eleven right hands. And he has different items from the hundred dollar body con, which then then this leads to personal preference. It depends on what items you like. He comes with handguns and phones. So if you like that, then you get this guy. But then do you also like the body type, which is also another personal preference. Because when I look at this body con, it's not that he doesn't look bad. It's just that he looks like a different body type. Let me bring the other one in to show the difference. As you can see, the $100 body con, he's more slim, defined. This one, he seems a little more bulkier. He does have some definition, but he seems to be more like a muscle man. He has broad shoulders, making it sound like a romantic comic. <laughs> but yeah, he seems like a different body type to me. That's what it looks like. The only other thing when it comes to the quality is that, and look, his hand's coming off. He's also yellowing a little bit on his arm area. I don't know why, probably the paint or something, but it doesn't bother me that much as long as I can pose him. Guys, if I tell you when posing this guy, this was a struggle. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It was a pain, but I was I gave up halfway trying to pose this guy trying to show off the items <laughs> Sand got how goes the what? How, how did this How did this not fit the hang? This is for the hang gun. You tell me this is not for the hang gun How does it not fit? <laughs> Holy Jesus do I have to break his fingers? I gotta break some fingers up in here to get the handgun in the hand. Ooh, 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 some progress. I, yes! Woo, pain in the butt. Got it. How the hell? Which hand is for? This goes to this hand? Oh, did I chip it? Oh, no, I didn't. This hand doesn't even hold the sword. What the? I have the wrong hand. I think I have the wrong hand. Is this the right hand? It is the right hand. Oh, my God. oh. Are you serious? <laughs> now I have to put this baby back on him because it decides to fall apart. This is why I'm going to glue your hands after I'm done with this. You're not going to be able to move your hands whatsoever, buddy. Oh, yeah, by the way, his name is Phantom of the Opera. I don't know why. You don't question it. His name is Phantom. Say hi, Phantom. Should do with your stub hand. <laughs> oh god. Ah. Come on. Get in. Get in. God damn it. I probably should do it without him holding the weapon. Oh. Well, I'm gonna put that hand back on. Oh my god, his hands won't go stay on. Oh. Sorry, Joe. Broken neck. Not Joe. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Joe. I know, I know you'd be upset.
This is Phantom. Phantom. I'm sorry, Phantom. Come get the flippers on. No! Come on! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> ah, finally! Jesus Lord. Get this one. Don't you dare. I see you. Ah! Yes! Got the. Yeah! <laughs> it looks like he's trying to do a rap. I should really make Joe and Phantom do a sword fight. That'll be kind of cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to see how long the hand will stay on. It's staying on pretty good. See, you struggle when I'm not on camera, but. Yeah, so, so far, he's a bit of a struggle. He's, 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 um, he, he, he likes to fight a lot. <laughs> he likes to give you a tough time. But overall, I like, I like this one. It's good for those who are, have a really low budget like I do currently. So, $10 ain't that bad for this little guy. Just hot glue his hands together and you'll be fine. Don't worry, Phantom. You'll be fine. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and a comment down below. Tell me about your body coon and body chan experience. And also check out part two for body chan because I ran out of time for it and I didn't want the video to be too long. I decided to give body chan her own video. So check that out. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.